love bugs is rustling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning sub to my grown extended beautiful family just thank you for the love and support uh us being able to help each other you know elevate you know sending big beautiful vibes towards one another because we know how it is to be you know stuck in certain situations that we never see we think that we'll never see the light of day too so that's truly a blessing when you can be able to you know spread that love so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you uh have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes and good information you would love to share with the loved one family or friend please go ahead and share you know especially if they need confirmation or validation towards or life path or even soul purpose or need even spiritual guidance go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support is greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video y'all I, I apologize that I, I ran everything together it keeps throwing me off with this light flash and it's like my energy is like all over the place it's in a good place but it's like really hyped up so sometimes you'll see a flash go across my screen or something like that and it's just like the energy's bouncing off of me and going into the camera so it happens every once in a while so i know i did it a couple of times on my last video it's like the, the lights start changing and next thing you know flash start going on but anyways uh today the beautiful music i'm uh listening to in the background is called native american sleep music shamanic flute duet spirit flute music soothing native music and i'll post that link in the description box below um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101 Hey Oka is when others connect with you to take advantage of your gift. You know what, we have that a lot, you know, and it's sad that when it happens like that, but it's all, all the things that has to happen for us to be able to learn the value of a lesson towards things. You know, a lot of times I was just talking to a friend of mine earlier about that, you know, a lot of times we, we have a kind heart and some people, and it's just like, it's sad, but you know, vindictive people peg us out they will see us before we see them coming at times and you know a lot of times we feel like oh why am i being so stupid why did i not see that coming you have to understand if you don't have that heart of being deceptive or using people for certain situations or you don't even sound like you um to be able to do that to people it happens you know a lot of times people you know um take our kindness for weakness on certain things that we do in life but it's like it's all always a lesson to be learned you know um when you're heading towards things you know don't know exactly how your blessings are going to turn out you're just doing what you need to do to be able to go towards those blessings you know the things that you're trying to earn into your life you know the things that you're working on to better yourself there's a lot of times darkness as well as universe will place certain things on our path for us to be able to learn and grow from it you know a lot of times it can really mess you up to a certain point you know where i've went through a couple of things there's people i connected on here and you know we end up being friends and things have popped off and you know come to find out you, you know you're trying to block me from my blessings a lot of times you know people will be uh they feel intimidated by your gift you know they can sit up here and try to do things as you do but nobody can't do things as you you know you're a product of you you know what i'm saying so they might be able to try to mimic certain things but they won't be able to get it done like you do because you have different ways you go about stuff you know and things like that has happened to me you know i've helped people out you know i don't regret those situations because that tells you a lot about your character i used to be that type of person like oh i wish i never met this person you know they did me this way and did me that way you know i had to be able to you know what everybody connects with you for a reason it might not be a good one but it's something to be learned out of that situation towards the person that's trying to take advantage of you. See, there go that damn light again. <laughs> you know, to try to take that advantage of you, you know, they end up getting that karmatic cycle to where, you know, when you try to do something very intentionally, like you're trying to infringe something towards this person or you, you don't have their, their interest at heart when you're doing things towards them on dark levels, you know, trust and believe you know they catch it <laughs> they might catch you you might not know about it but they'll catch it so it's just like 
you know, a lot of times we have to be able to chop it off. It's like, you know what, you were good to that person. You know, I hope you just have to be like, I hope it was worth it, you know, for them to be able to do that. Because it's like when people, um, when they get with you like that and it's not on a good vibe, or do you know they got hidden intent for you, that opens them up to spirit for them to be dealt with. You ain't got to do that, all that. You know, I always tell people don't seek revenge on people because it makes you know better than the person that did it to you in the first place. You have to be able to let nature take its course on certain things. And sometimes you'll see it in the making. You know, I've had so many people that have done wrongful things towards me just because they found out who I was related to and they felt threatened by that. You know, it always came back to me. Something done popped off and happened to them. I'm like, damn. You know, and I don't, you know, I used to be that type of person to laugh, like, uh-huh, that's what your ass get. But now I'm just like, you know what, don't do that because some tables can always turn. And I always feel like the ones that are always pushing out positivity or whatever, you stand up and you, you know, you respond to somebody, you clap back. You know what I'm saying? You have to always remember, you know, I was, remember I saw this on a uh, Jay Sheedy uh, motivational video. He's like, how you, you know, how people treat you is their karma. How you respond to it is yours. You know, sometimes you, it's like when stuff like that happens, you really don't need a response. You know, if people know that they're intimidated by certain things, I've had people intimidated by the things that I do. And they act like, oh, girl, we're going to support you in this and this and that. God allowed me to see. They, you know, they they feel like you intimidate them. They, you're, they're intimidated by your gift. So they're only going to support you when it is able to benefit them. So it's just, I'm glad that God allowed me to see certain things like that. So I exit out of my life and I'm just like, you were empath, just like me. So if I up and got you out of my life, you know the reason why. Don't play stupid, <laughs> you know? So you have to be able to do the things that you need to do. But on this journey, you have to be able to know how to respond to people. Sometimes when, it's, when it comes to a fool, sometimes not responding is a response. So you have to be able to understand you know, you have a beautiful blessing. You have a kind heart. And a lot of times we, we end up having that big welcome in that. Hey, I'm a kind one, you know, pray on my weakness. But you have to be able to learn, you know, when you set boundaries up for yourself. I set boundaries up for mine. You know, I used to be a little cruel when it came to like, hey, I don't mind you contacting me. But it's like certain periods you have to do that. Now I'm just like, Rosalind, you have to be, you know, understanding there are certain people that got night jobs so they can't that's the only time they can contact you because they sleep during the day or you know they might live on the other side of the world it might be seven eight hours difference so you know it might be seven o'clock there in the afternoon but it's like one two or three o'clock in the morning where you're at so it's just like you know now it's like you know, I'll just turn my ringer off or whatever. So it's like when I'm trying to get my sleep because I get very cranky because I don't get that much sleep. My, my sleep had to be jacked up, even though I'll sleep, but I'll be waking up back and forth. And in the night, you know, if you're an empath, you know, if you don't get a good night's sleep, you can kind of get cranky. So it's just like, you know, hey, <laughs> just turn the, turn the thing off. You don't have to worry about it aggravating you and just being able to get towards that person. Because I always tell people when I see that they're in a different time zone than me and, you know, if it's like one or two. And, you know, hours, but, you know, there's a lot of people that I talk to that are overseas. You know, I let them know, hey, I'll respond to you as quick as I can, but, you know, we are on a big time difference, so don't get upset if I don't answer you back right away because sometimes I might be asleep. So it's just like all the things that we go through. It's a learning, learning mechanism that we have to go along the way. You know, a lot of people are not going to have that heart, you know, that heart like you do. You know, the way you can't be disappointed is never expect. Any, you know, you don't don't read too many into expectations. You know, yes, you should, you know, hope that you connect with somebody that you respect and as they respect you. And sometimes that is happening. But there are sometimes people know that they, they have a hidden motive for connecting with you. So, you know, th those things, you, if you know in your gut feeling something ain't right about a certain situation, don't ever se second guess your gut feeling. You know, go with that. You know, a lot of times I tell people, do an unseen prayer. If you want to know who is constantly like doing things to sabotage you, a lot of times we sabotage ourselves, you know, going down the situation. I had to learn, you know, if I feel like this person is praying against me, don't put that energy into it because it's like you're giving them that welcoming energy to go ahead and sabotage whatever you got going on. And I had to learn that, you know, now it's just like if I feel that with you, I'm gonna just get you the hell out of my life because if you're there for the wrong reasons, you know, it. It's like God ain't going to allow things to happen for you in the right way. And if it is, it might be short-lived just because of how you took advantage of that person. You never want something been placed on you and, you know, 
had that table term because God has that thing called God and karma. Got that thing where you can be placing something in somebody's life and they'll turn them tables and allow you to know, let you feel what you put out towards that person. And it might not be the same way, but it'll, you know, it'll have it. You know, I've seen it happen, especially with people that are so called my family. You know, and it'll be, you're like, oh, Rosalind, this and this and this happened. I'm like, oh. Didn't feel good either, did it? <laughs> I'm like, okay. And I'll be thinking in my head, and I'm just like, you know, I'm a person that's woke. So a lot of times is now I'm able to feel things when I know something ain't right. You know, I distance myself from you. You know, and it's just like, you know, hey, we, we can we can give you that, hey, hi, how you doing? There are certain times that, you know, things will come on your path just to make sure are you learning your lesson from all the other times? You know, you have to be, you can be kind. You know, you don't have to be, you know, rude or, you know, be all rah, rah, rah type person. You can just, you know, hey, we didn't have, we, we didn't end on a good note either. I said, I ain't got nothing, no qualms against you because I'm not going to put my energy and stuff like that. And if you feel like, like I said before, if you feel like somebody is intimidated by your gift, don't put that energy. God is, the universe is allowing to shed that light. Hey, they're not having no good intent for you. You know, they'll allow that, that light to be shown. You just don't put your energy into it like, thank you, you know, they be grateful they allowed you to see that and go about your business. Don't, you know, whatever they trying to put on you, tip, tip, you got to be able to say, hey, I'm returning to sender, whatever you're trying to place in my life, I'm about to put, t give it right back, <laughs> give it right back. And you can continue to do what you're doing because you have to remember, you know, I used to be all upset like you know you can't be so forthcoming about the steps that you're taking towards people no matter if y'all have a good relationship or not because there are certain things in your life that does not need to be discussed you know because just even when they might not mean no harm to you you never know somebody might be jealous about certain things that's happening for you that ain't happening for them yet you know and everybody has to understand everything happens in divine timing but when you see somebody else get their blessings you bless them like it's your blessing because if you sit up here and be you know i'm tired of seeing good stuff for them you know and i had to be able to learn that for myself you have to be able to bless people because that lets god and universe know you know what they're a good person they're not sitting up here getting mad because they got blessed because you never know what god has to put into you know in the works for you for you to be able to get your blessings but don't engage yourself on wondering about why this person keeps blocking your blessings just allow that to be seen and you don't focus on that because when you focus on that you're opening that gateway to allow them to sabotage your stuff don't put your stuff out there there are certain things you don't need to be you know projecting towards people don't get smart when you hear somebody trying to say something because you're leaving that open door for them to go ahead and sabotage stuff. And it's just like you sabotaging it yourself. So allow yourself to see the things that you really need to see. You know, not everybody has the same heart as you. Not everybody has the same intentions as you. You know, you have to be able to learn. I've learned a lot. <laughs> Since my dad's passing, I've learned a lot. This world can be really cruel. And actually, it can be really wonderful. It's just all how you look at it and all what you put your energy into. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope everything that you are striving and heading towards coming into fusion for you because you truly deserve it. And, you know, sending love and blessings to everybody. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Delinda Haynes. Much love to you as well. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Know that you are truly blessed. <laughs> Holly favor and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Send out as much love, light, and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your kind words can really help somebody a mighty long way. Y'all don't even pay attention to these daggone vibes I'm giving out. I'm sending y'all love and light and, you know, just good energy. And I hope you have a blessed, safe Sunday. You know, you be responsible for everything you do. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.